All right, so a little bit of my prophetic journey, my testimony. Um, for many of you, like most people don't know me, like I started having dreams, prophetic dreams, when I was like five years old, eight, five to seven. And um, the dreams included a tree, a bunch of ac- um, crocodiles, and I had one about my grandmother before she passed away, um, that she was going to basically die in a lot of um, physical pain. And she did. She died from cervical cancer. Um, that's when Hurricane Hugo came to Charlotte. So I grew up in Charlotte. So today, God was like, last night, listening to prophecy. Certain times in the middle of the night, I wake up, I hear the word of the Lord tell me specific events that are in my life, what I'm going through, where I'm at. I've been delivered into, you know, receiving the blessings, the covenant, the promises. Um, God said, I'm going to pour you out a blessing. He said, I'm going to put you in a land that I promise you, the inheritance. You're going to get good from blah, blah, blah. Excuse me, Lord. He, I, you know, he knows my heart. I just don't know the scripture verbatim, so I say blah blah blah. Um, he said I'm gonna do a marvel and a wonder today. I went to a place in the, in the field of my kingdom spouse. Uh, we're not in complete union, but guess what was on TV? Marvel Studios, and it was Peter. He kept saying Peter, Peter, Peter. Peter, God said, I'm going to do a Marvel. And then I look on TV and behold, Marvel Studios, Simon Peter, do you love me? We'll follow my commandments. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, Lord, how do I do what you want me to do? Because blasphemy and cussing and stuff, you know, I used to be a cusser. Woo! And um, with the cherubim, Ezekiel. My lips got burned a couple of times because God helped me with cussing. Thank you, Lord. Um, I still cuss behind closed doors, but it's limited. Um, sometimes in the car, it's limited. You know, I talk to God. God knows my heart. God knows what cuss. So, and because I'm carnal, because we're not, you know, the the spirit is more is in line, but the flesh is completely opposed. You know, the natural sinful flesh is just, it's just hard. It's not automatic. You have to reprogram and retrain everything to bring it under the